All right, guys. Knights feel incredibly strong in 10.8. All right. I wasn't able to play a full Knights deck last season because of Renfrey. It just really took away from, you know, playing scenarios and starting up a bit slower. However, I was able to make a Golden Necker Knights deck with Shieldwall last month, which went pretty well. However, I wanted to play Damsel in Distress and do the really all-out Knights swing here. So, this is what we got, guys. There's a hundred different ways to do this, and this is just kind of what I came up with on stream, and I felt pretty good with it here. And, you know, the only substitute you could make, it's a preference thing. You could take out maybe Onseus, and you could take out Knighthood. You could put maybe um, Lady of the Lake out as well, and then put in something like Amphibious, and you could do, like, the Immortals and the damn Sorceress combo. Maybe I'll put something together in the description if you guys want to run the shield package. However, I felt like this one here wasn't reliant on one certain strategy, and it was pretty smooth, and we had a lot of tempo, and Erendite got good value, so... You know, and it played Knighthood, which is one of the new reworked cards. So, we'll go through it here. We have Damsel in Distress. Scenario progress whenever you play a knight. Prologue summon a bronze knight from your deck to this row. And then chapter 1 on the first knight, whenever an allied unit triggers grace, boost its adjacent units by 2. Chapter 2, spawn and play Mad Charge. So, on the prologue, we're looking to spawn probably one of these, or one of these. Because we have only about six to eight targets, right? And these are more something you want to sandwich in where you want to put them. They won't work on the first turn if you open up with Scenario. It'll just sit there for three points. Leaving it vulnerable, especially with a card with such a high point ceiling. So you go for one of the Redanian Knights that'll start ticking at the end of the turn. Or Squire, which will have order the following turn and turn another Knight into an engine. Okay? So you have that, and you can use whatever else you need to proc it. Chances are if it's round 3, you might have spent things already, like Century and Knights. Maybe you would have spent one of your Errant Knights, but you have tons of Knights up here. Like your Duel, you've got like Windhalm, you know what I mean? There's there's quite a bit that can go around up in the top end. The Maiden Shield, and so you proc that scenario. On the last chapter, Spawn and Play Mad Charge. Mad Charge just got a rework recently. Um, Renfrey patch, right? That last season and uh it's a very good card now honestly if you have knights in your deck you probably want to be playing this card for warfare so boost an ally unit by five and give it two armor if it's a knight also give it vitality two so again we're basically boosting things up giving them armor and then getting extra vitality so you're looking at it like this it's seven boost for four provision with armor and it can contribute to grace Right, we boost something up like a Knight Errant, it's triggering Grace 9. We boost something up like this, it's triggering Grace 6. We've got Grace 8 here, we've got Grace 10, you know, Grace 12 if we're looking to get the carry over into a second round, or if they purify the Vandergrift on the first time around. And then of course, worst case scenario, we just pump it up for a big duel, right? It's pretty easy, you play on Seis to finish your scenario. Last say, put it on melee, so because uh, the formation, you get the zeal. And then you just basically duel, right? And you got a pretty big duel ceiling because you got armor in there, you got vitality in there, you got... Well, the vitality won't do a whole lot, but keep it alive. But so you have the big boost, right? Which is the most important thing. So um, that's basically it there. I wanted to have a lot of control because I felt like this is going to be control meta. So Karathi, Heat Wave, right? Getting rid of scenarios, getting rid of tall units, super important. I have Erendite here because I feel like in decks with a lot of tempo it makes sense to put something like this because we're going to constantly be able to just throw points on the board why not have something like erendite where this can climb up quite strong and actually during one of my test games on a stream the other day i had erendite play for 18 points which is unheard of which it it tops my record at 17 i think 18 points is the highest that you can have this card in a game, right? Like, I, I just don't think it's possible to get it higher than that. So, there's that, right? Just really good stuff. Resilience. This is a pretty interesting card. It's got Shield. It's got Grace 8. Spawn Bronwyn. Uh, the Bolt on the right. So, this card here. You can see it has its own ability here. Grace 5. Order Infuse an ally with whenever this unit receives a boost from other abilities. Boosts up with the same amount. So, you can sort of plan 
which one, right? You can put it on something maybe that's going to receive a boost from other abilities. So you can kind of, you know, pick and choose something in around that, right? So really cool stuff. And uh, got the Grace 14 as well. So double Grace on the card. It makes it easier to use leader charges and all that sort of stuff. So we have that. Lady of the Lake was an interesting fit here. If I was going with maybe... I mean, either way, it looks pretty good. I like Erendite and Onero with this because they're both Echoes, right? You know, uh, John Natalis can't do that because he pulls a Warfare. So I felt like it's just a little bit more flexible. He's also a Soldier, not a Knight, so there's not really synergy there either. And she plays for one more point, technically, so it feels like a better play. Even if you swapped out, let's say... O'Neill for Amphibious, or you put it, you know, took out Brotherhood and something else and you made room for Amphibious, I'd still probably keep Lady of the Lake, because otherwise you're just going in for, like, your bronzes, and that's why you have John. so, you know, chances are you're going to pull these cards anyways. So that's pretty much it there. Uh, two point per turn engine, Dora Gray, um, instead of the... Margarita, just because this one here I think plays better into the Onslaught matchup, right? Deploy Lock will take care of one of the boats, whereas this here, Order Lock, will, you know, take damage. And if we don't have Onir, um, not Oniromancy, but if we don't have Amphibious Assault, it doesn't matter which one we rock because it's non-devotion. We're not really, like, looking for Northern Realms tags altogether, so... It just felt more appropriate there. I want to be able to deal with some engines that a dual heat wave or, you know, Arendite can't deal with. Arendite's usually a late game thing, so I want to have a little bit more flexibility, utility early on. Boiling oil just seems really good. Imagine getting rid of like a Nausicaa or getting rid of like the opponent's squire or something like that, you know. All in the meanwhile, purifying a shield. Um, this could play good into Saskia, right? You get rid of an engine, and then you purify the Saskia. Now we can lock Saskia, or we can dual Saskia, or we can... You, you see the rest, right? There's quite a lot of stuff we could do with the one boiling oil. Knight Errants play for tons of points if left unticked. At the end of your turn, boost self by one for each adjacent boosted unit, and damage self by one for each adjacent damaged unit. So you got to be careful against decks like Onslaught, Pirates... Skellige, it's going to be very difficult to get this card to work properly. So sometimes you might even consider mulliganing them back because they could play for negative points. However, if you're playing against really boosty matchups like monsters and all that sort of stuff, this is going to play for tons of points, right? Get two units boosted, put this in between, you have them all sandwiched, and it just starts going two points per turn. So we have a lot of two point per turn engines going on, right? Viola Forbidden Knowledge because it helps us proc grace. It helps us set up a good duel. It helps us thin the deck potentially if the opponent has a vile forbidden knowledge. It's something proactive if we just want to throw down a card, like, you know, in whatever the case. Like, it's just something to do, right, if all we have is deploys. So I don't mind it so much at all. Purify to get around a defender or to purify one of our own engines that becomes locked because that could be detrimental, right? I have Squirrel to get rid of Echo cards, maybe in a mirror match, maybe if we're playing Compass into the... Skellige matchup, if we're playing Coup de Gras, into the Nilfgaard matchup, there's tons of stuff, right? And with the return of many special cards, you want to get rid of stuff. Otherwise, it's just graveyard hate for, you know, units like Keltelis or whatever the case, right? We can get rid of things we don't want to see again. Squire, really good engine, one of my favorite Knights cards with the new patch that they brought, right? The new expansion, this is definitely really good. So, boost unit, uh, boost the next unit, play by two. If it's a knight, also infuse it with, at the end of your turn, boost self by one. So what you can do is you can play this on a pass round, click it, go into the next round, play your first card. It turns the card into an engine. So if you start, let's say, round three or whatever with uh, Redanian Knight, now it's going to be getting the boost one per turn because that's what it does, and then the extra boost one per turn. And then it'll take on the two boost as well because it's boost the next unit you play. So really cool stuff with that, guys. So this is it. I might include in the description another version of the deck if you want to play something that's more Northern Realms based and less neutral cards because I could see here I've got a fair amount of neutral cards, but I think that this deck was really comfortable. I think this deck will get you to pro rank and you know, I like to give variety, so we'll do that. And um, I've got a couple more decks on the way this weekend, guys. There will be a combination of 
Twitch highlights and, you know, ex YouTube exclusive stuff. So I'm expecting to put out three or four more videos between um, Saturday and Sunday. And I'm also looking at potentially doing an afternoon stream on YouTube, believe it or not, on Saturday, just for those who can't make it to the usual uh, new schedule that we have on Twitch. So it would be nice to kind of catch up with you guys again. So that's pretty much it, guys. So we'll get into the gameplay. I've got tons of games for you guys with commentary for reference. And I'll be on Twitch streaming later this morning in about 4 hours, 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, GMT minus 4. So hope to see you there for wrapping up the week. Let's have a good Friday. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Talk to you soon. Uh, Say with the Prime Sub. Appreciate that. 11 T1. Oh, that's what it says. Okay, I didn't know it was like 11 or T1. Yeah, enjoy the tier one. We got uh, new badges that just came in. This should be actually pretty good. can't play apex that's too bad like it's uh they fixed a lot of issues with the game i think it feels back, there's a lot of cool balancing video. stuff going on um new gun rotations you know for the for the meta like lots of cool stuff um a new map of course they brought back king's canyon they brought in a new legend as well split cane with the sub at tier one appreciate it welcome to the stream I like how this isn't row locked anymore, so we can actually stack. Like, that's really good. Yeah, big W, guys. That's cracked, isn't it? People are going to be cross mapping with the wingman. I could take this out with one of these, but I, I don't think we do that. Keep Erendite online. Do we have a good Erendite setup so far? It should be at three, yeah. There we go. Well, I just I don't know what your schedule is like, man. Been playing uh quite a bit. But I've been also playing a lot of Gwent the last couple days. Like this is kinda this comes first, really. One, two, four. I mean, surely we just boost it anyways. Grace 8, boost adjacent. Is the lose a shield effect a bonus in this deck? No. It's a bonus against, let's say, control matchups, but it's not going to do a whole lot against other stuff. Grace 6 boost self. Uh, 
Um, Immortals, Dem Sorceress, yeah, like, that. it's really good when it pulls off, but, like, if this combo doesn't pull off, the Sorks feel kind of weird. I think if I were to do that deck, I'd have to run Amphibious as well, instead of, um, instead of, like, my Erendite plan. Or maybe you still run Erendite, but, like, it, it would be tough, because I'd have to rework it a little bit better so I can pull these cards too. I don't know if I'd like taking them off on Nero, but... If Skellig is a big thing, which it should be, then I'm expecting the shields to just be good. I mean, they used it. We have the carryover. I could just pass right here and keep all these nice cards. Arendite's at 7. If I heatwave that, it's only 10 points. 11, 12, 13, 14. It's a little late for this. I think I'm allowed to just... AA and John come in. Yeah, I'm going to make an alternative version, I think. And um, it's probably going to have John AA. But I don't know about Onero still. Because I like John being able to pull Knighthood. Like, that's pretty solid. Uh, we need a bad card to play, too. I wish I kept it. I was thinking that they wouldn't just crank it, but sure enough. It boosts an ally by five. Yeah, it's tough. It's like, do I go cards down or what? Um, Mathwick with the follow, thank you. I know, I just, I can't use this. This little boost by two thing got pretty lit. Alright, we gotta respect uh, Tempo's a thing. Grace 9. Uh, it's such a weird place. This next turn, we have to turn everything back on. Erendite, you know, everything. They're pushing pretty hard, but they did win on even. Die the 
This is tough because I want to play this, but I can't. Ghoul for a, one of these. Who knows? I demand satisfaction now. <sighs> that was kind of annoying. That was kind of annoying, but we got it done. Probably the best hand I'm going to get, to be honest. Arrow seems to be working. Um, I could probably just lock their leader token. Or that. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to do here. That was pretty nice. I'm glad you liked the Dead Eyes. I had fun playing it. I'm really upset though. There was a game that I recorded. Well, I thought I recorded, but it didn't actually record. And it was against Muta Generator Siege, and they annihilated the whole board. And then I had a vial on the board, and I basically boosted up the Vernacio on ranged with the vial. And they were up 36 to 0, by the way. So I, I basically boosted up the Vernacio on the back row, and then I took full leader and put down uh, free company and got ahead by like two points. Took it into round three. Welcome I preserved my scenario, and I just bent bam, 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 and I won the game. And then I look over to see if it was recorded, and I'm like, damn it, that was the best game I played in the last week. Uh, I didn't really take proper mulligans, because I got all excited. Um, Kalev, Kalev Shinov with the Prime Gaming sub. I don't know why it says it twice, but I uh, appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. It was an absolute razor. Like, the opponent, like, was so mad, they still GG'd because they're like, yo. <laughs> it was a cliffhanger. watching the YouTube channel for three months, first time here. I'm actually new here myself. Like, I used to stream on on Twitch a lot. I actually just got an accomplishment on Twitch a couple days ago, guys. It was one of the uh, little accolades or whatever on Twitch. It's like stream for 500 hours. We just got that done maybe two, three days ago. But uh, ever since I returned to Twitch, it's been this is like the fourth or fifth stream. I'm playing the most hated Hateful deck. This one's pretty nasty, especially with the Erendite, the lock, the heat wave. We do what we have to do, you know? Um, that feels like a pretty good lock to me, actually. With Northern Realms, everything's deployed. It hurts. Mata? Maybe they're still running Renfrey, because Nausicaa was really big in Renfrey. Your 
Lord Jesus Strauss, how you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, it looks like Renfrey to me. It's got like, well, I mean, we see three cards. We can't say it is what it is, but. Do we ever just boost that so that this goes? Probably. We gotta play something on the other side of this now. Oh, it's one of those. <sighs> no, but this is pretty bad too. Um, yeah, it's going to be a, a bad one. And they're going to take my Onero from my grave when they take the Vilk play. I have no damage stuff. I'm losing out on the boost adjacent units thing. I have nothing to put here on this side. Ugh. This is gross. Like, I can't do anything. Optimum dosage jitters on the precipice of lethality. Duel and Clash are essentially the same thing, but the thing about... The thing about Duel is they... The units take turns damaging each other until one of them wins. So I damage them by my base power then they damage me by their remaining base power. And then it's kind of like that, yeah? It goes back and forth. Whereas Clash, it's like if you're a 10 and I'm a 4, we're just colliding once. It's not like alternating. What's the snowdrop for? Am I missing something? Should I be afraid of this? Does that really matter though? Not having Onero is very painful, but... get a little carry over yeah squire carries over and so does dite snowdrops can snowball into a lot of points we can remove a couple of them play a knight from deck and boost it by the amount of okay at least I have a tutor. Maybe this goes. Ah. Scroll does nothing here. Kind of sad. Squire is such a bad pull too. We should have thought about that. I guess I just play cards, right? I mean, whatever. 
Carry over Squire makes me feel like a Chad. It's the little things, you know, the two points. It's gross. I think Emissary might be better than that, though. Oh, I see. That's pretty nice, then. We get, I can remove two of them. Oh shoot, I should have actually used leader here. Okay, we'll play it a little bit, uh, a little bit better here. Oh no. Ah. That hurts. Probably just take this then. Play a knight. Okay, no, we're slacking here. We need to get this. With so many snowdrops, they're not going to miss anything. Okay. It's Grace 9. It's probably... And then this one here too. That's disgusting, guys. I don't know if we care about a couple snowdrops anymore. Maybe. I'm, I'm gonna have to take one of them out though. Okay, we don't have to worry about grace anymore, I can just use this snow. We still kinda play hard into tall punish, right? Maybe they still have Renfrey, I don't know. Um, let's take this away. That's three, so they're they're all out of the way. If it's a knight, okay. We'll take these first, and then we'll just play Erendite last. Look at that, 17 points. Just realize what? Yeah, you can hover the cards, and you can check in the deck in the graveyard. It's kind of busted if you're on PC, guys. Um, it's one of the things that YouTube just doesn't have set up yet, so it's a lot better here. Look at this, though. We can actually just delete anything they play. That's, this is actually the biggest Erendite I've ever had in my life. I didn't even know they make it this big. I, the highest I've gotten before that was 17. This is actually 18. Everyone has their secrets. Everyone. Not 
not your lucky day. It's winnable. This is actually much better. Okay. Last time we didn't draw half the stuff I wanted to have in round one. The carryover play makes a difference. This can go back because we have this. And that's fine. We purify the defender? I don't know if we need the purify actually. Unless they lock something of ours. Some people are at 300. Holy. Um, I'm at like, I think my highest journey is like 220. Two points per turn, let's get it. We gotta get this quick. This should have been maybe at range so that we could play this around it, but it's fine. Do I ever just lock that? Probably not. We'll wait. Um, scenario could be a thing, maybe. You gotta believe in the process, Ben. I think we're supposed to be doing this, I do. Such a bad spot. They could pass right here. Can you believe they passed on my scenario? Five? We can't click that. kind of annoying. You kind of want to save that for a long round. It's just, that's an issue that I can imagine would be an issue. <laughs> it's just getting uh, getting it done quick enough to set up Erendite sometimes. You see? At least they spent the lock. Okay, we kind of have to smork it a little bit. Right? We have a duel. It's Grace 8. Let's see what happens. I think if we can get started quickly, we have a, a bit of an advantage here. Okay. That's why I use two scenarios. Grace is feeling pretty good, like I would say today. Um, but it's too soon to tell. Gotta stay ahead. This is awkward. We'll play this one next. That's a lock. Grace 9, boost by 4.
Arendite can unlock Bronwyn? That is true, it's actually pretty smart. I just don't think we have it set up yet. Is that just a heatwave right there? Or should I wait till it thins first? I'll wait till it thins. What needs Echo for 10 points? Um, Knighthood? Six. Damn, it's close. to just keep going. Ugh. I wasn't gonna do it, but I have Erendite in my deck, right? generating points yeah echo tutor like they already have one echo tutor for the faction right I guess vitality Yurden, Igni. Oh shit. Okay, <laughs> I was making sure. Um, Erendite's good here. I guess it would be this one. It receives boost from other abilities. I mean, it was probably this one then. Because it's, it's literally its ability. I think I kind of threw on that last turn. Ah, it doesn't matter. They played Triss. So we have Big Sword and Carryover. I should have infused. Yeah, I should have actually put it towards something we could use. That's a whoops, but you know. Did they have heat wave? Yes. Pretty good hand, guys. I think we should be fun. Is it really going to be this for the most points? Uh, 
I think I want to play around Sabbath. Sentra, I thought about Sentra off the two. But yeah, we played around Sabbath, it just feels better. Yeah. Good. We'll try our best in this one. Same thing. Probably Kelly, right? So, Squirrel. Heller and Heat Wave. If they have Tome, we'll do the same thing, but we'll do it properly. I'm going to see if I can prevent the Kelly from working. I know that this deck has consistency issues. So we got um, Urgen, we're with the sub. At tier one. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Why Mulligan on Nero? Because I, I didn't want to brick Lady of the Lake. Oh, I should have actually checked that. We'll check it next turn at least. But I, I'm pretty sure it's just standard, standard. Thank you for the great taunt content. Uh, appreciate it. Doing my best. We're going to increase the uploads like uh, for the next little bit. I don't want to give them a bunch of units to bring back. But something like this wouldn't be a bad idea. Actually, they could take Xavier on it. This is, uh... Do you guys recognize this one? This is card for card, our deck from last season. But they took one of these out and put one of these. And then they took out my fork tail and put a slizzard, I guess, to control um, how many units they have. But other than that, it's the same deck. We played that a lot last season. I think we should be pretty good. Welcome back. <laughs> That hurts. I'm just gonna pass. We gotta get some value for Erendite. That just starts with defending. I had a lot of fun with Kelly last season, though. I played tons of Kelly. They have heat waves, so I don't value this as much. Okay, good. Peller and heat wave done. <sighs> That's actually worse with the Centurion. Okay, this will keep me ahead. I don't see why they wouldn't play it all the way. Right? Peller. They have to use the leader for it too. Do 
do I ever boost it to get yeah probably not gonna lie guys I actually thought that I had uh, a squire in deck I forgot I played the other one that's fine just uh, we'll pop that and just go for it kind of works out right Kind of just worried about them busting down Kelly and getting rid of something, but we have time. Okay, I have to see Kelly before we react. That's the problem. Because otherwise, they just pass. And then we lose the Purify for good, and it feels really bad. I'm going to boost... I'm gonna say we should. Ah, uh, this is kind of a whack play. Apricot seven with the follow, thank you. You see why I'm kind of reluctant to play, right? Um, we're going super tall in many things. This feels like a waste. They know we have Heat Wave as well. They're baiting. Let's take this. Oh no, if they drop Kelly, we're actually gonna- I forgot! Hopefully it's you, knows. That hurts. Imagine chewing through a duel. Take this now. Good. The greed took care of it. Yeah, that would have been a nice pass for them. Now they just lose, I think, because of it. And we lock that. That's disgusting. Can't give it veil. I do not mince words on the prison. No, we can't hero pass yet. It's like a thirty point heat wave.
Yo, Wendholm carried. Guys, it's one heat wave away from a loss. I'm not I'm not losing back to back games. I, I, I don't mind yo yoing, but when we start getting on a losing streak, it's it's really bad for the ranks. This sucks. Um Erendite needs to be pulled. Got the Punisher triple six with the follow. Welcome to the stream. Even with Heat Wave, we could win. We have Heat Wave. We just spent it on Kelly. Oh, yeah, yeah, true, true, but not with two cards for them. Because that's kind of scary. I don't know what the other card would be. It's kind of nice. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, they get a pretty good removal, right? Yeah. Still keeps me ahead. Oh, sorry, uh, Winted. I'm just... Uh, <laughs> how you doing? Good to see you. I'm just... I don't want to lose. I'm just trying to focus on this one. My bad. It's going to chew up some of the points from the defender, though. It feels kind of bad. And we need to get to Grace 5. That's a little early for the Spores. Yo, I really chalked that one. Um, in round one, in round one, Punisher, I... <laughs> what? Zero Knight GG? Wait, so so they're not going to GG me? Okay. They're not even going to GG me for the challenge? Yo, number two. Listen, that sounds like something I would do. What kind of ice cream did you get? With nuts? Well, what kind is it? Just nuts like in chocolate or vanilla or caramel? Like... You know what I like? I like the Hagen Dawes containers that are like this big. Or Ben and Jerry's, but I think I'm more of a Hagen Dawes fan now. Um But uh man. Hagen Dawes is wild. That's a good luck. But like, yeah, you sit there, you finish that one sitting, and then you forget about it. You know, like the little tubs. This sucks. This is like, kind of like Harmony too. Are they like, ice cream bars? Or like, actual tubs of ice cream? Nero into Sescu. I don't think I have to entertain this. I think we just play our carryover and dip, don't we?
Okay, if I pass... No, it'll go do do and it'll take me too much. We got uh, Agbrerian with the follow. Egg, wait, Agri Brerian. Oh, that's a tongue twister, man. Appreciate it. I'm uh, I'm level a hundred and fifty plus on every journey. I'm pretty sure. That's a tempo pass if I've ever seen one. Barnabas, Saskia, First Nero, they just really want to get that scenario underway. Sure. Yeah, guys, <laughs> I know I liked it for a while. had a lot of comments on my video this morning about this card not working in the deck. It still works. It's just there was a bug on PlagueWent.com. I, um, I let CDPR know in the Discord that uh, there was a problem with the deck. Or, yeah, on their website. Okay. Well... Well, that's annoying. Let's give up now. Yeah, pirates and vampires still good with the Renfrey. I missed my heat wave. They get theirs. Kind of sucks. If they do, uh, waters and slam. Disgusting. I need to have grace. I might still be able to get out of the round. It's just that, like, boiling oil feels really bad. We have a few slow plays right now. This is uh, Grace 14, yeah? I gotta wait a turn. They have to get card back. But here's the thing, though. If we get out of this round, I don't see what they have left. Like, it's gonna be very tough. Chameleons are gonna hurt. Like, if they didn't thin Chameleons with Saskia, but they somehow managed to play them from hand, that's painful.
So Harmony 2, that's going to be my target then. <laughs> Some half-frozen baguette straight from the freezer. Yeah. Too much points. No GG for knights. They already have elf. Okay. I think we gotta take this now in case they pass. I think it's rank one, guys. Yeah. I think we can get out of this by playing one card. We'll take Arendite. Oh! I played against Renfree like twice. We're probably going to play against Renfree right here though. We will see. We got uh, X hit man with the follow. Thank you. Best give up now. All right, we'll do the best we can, guys. Probably a boiling oil. It's probably this too to get rid of the extra point off the shield. We just start flying away. So far I like the idea of the boiling oil. It doesn't feel out of place. Yeah, it's run free. We need quick points a lot of points I think I'm gonna take this We boost it, we get the order back, that's not great. Take advantage of this now. I need to have last say in this matchup, it's so important, so I think we're willing to spend whatever it takes. Maybe. What's Aaron died at? Six? I wouldn't say others are very common, no. There's just better ways to do things, I think, with a lot of the scenario buffs. It makes a lot more sense. The Thing 105 with the follow, thank you.
I think we have to play that now. Like I said, I think we're going all in, guys. I think I missed my opportunity to get, uh, I wasn't really paying attention. I've been playing for nearly five years, yeah. Like, I've had my moments where I, I put it down for a little bit. Like, last month was an example, and then um, another example would have been during, like, the V meta. That's so bad. That's so bad. Surely they try and win on even right. Nothing, damn it. I thought they were gonna play because they were so thirsty. I just actually threw the game by playing right there. I should have just passed. Yeah, I can show you afterwards. I, I should not have lost. I shouldn't have done that. I don't know how to check that. Like between seasons and all. I literally. I can't believe I threw this game. Possible I still win, but I don't think it's possible. Like, Renfrey's a lot of points. Maybe Scenario saves me. We missed a lot, too. Okay, I'm gonna have to try to find some things. That's not bad, actually. We'll pull that, we'll pull that, we'll pull that. It's good. Yo, Patty, you sound like that guy we banned yesterday. I have to lock this. <laughs> yeah, this is so bad. Okay, Onero into... Maybe it should have been the other way around. I just want to proc scenario and start getting things boosted.
then we go this into I should have waited maybe like I it's not like I'm gonna get heat wave on the um, on the uh, Regis anyways though that's the thing Jay Rarin can thanks for the follow Hopefully they miss it. No, they hit it. That's rough. You know, it might be, this might be winnable, I, it, like regardless of the throw, but they have a lot of points here. I don't know, man. I, I just feel really bad about the throw. Is it, uh... You like monsters looking for meta deck? Give me a second. Uh, Relics, Kelly. I don't deserve it. 